brought up knowing that the Nazis and the Stasis in East Germany after that and the Ruskies and the Chicoms, why they spied on their people without warrants and they came in people's houses without warrants and uh, the state was corrupt and involved in all sorts of bad things. I want to be clear here with everybody. Most people in the government are not corrupt. They are being paid a moderate, lower middle class wage. Uh, and some of them do something good. Some of them do unproductive jobs. Some of them do bad. But at the top, it's corrupt. And the direction, the evolution of government and the system here is diametrically opposed on every front to the principles that made this country great and the principles that made other countries great. I mean, we know the direction we're going in is bad news. We know it. And the good news is all over this country, I see the polls, I see the numbers, I see the reaction. The people are waking up. But just finishing up here, Nevada police face rare Third Amendment lawsuit for forced commandeering of homes. Adon Salazar wrote this on Friday. And it's since got more attention around the country. Uh, family arrested for not immediately surrendering their home. And they arrested the father and the son and then uh, grabbed the mother and threw her out on the street for not letting them commandeer the home. Uh, not for a hostage situation, which would still be questionable. But to, quote, uh, surveil from a tactical position whether the neighbors uh, we're having any type of domestic dispute. That's the new excuse. And, and you see it all the time where the cops show up and go, uh, we heard there was a dispute. We're coming in without a warrant. Or we heard there was this or that. And meanwhile, the crack dealers are down on the corner. Meanwhile, the big central banks are laundering the drug money. Meanwhile, the major banks are on record laundering the drug money. I mean, it's just all a joke, okay? We have the biggest prison population in the world, not, not just per capita. Bigger than the communist Chinese that have a billion, 300 million people. We're only 320 million. And it gets bigger and bigger and hungrier and hungrier. We have the biggest government the world's ever seen. The U.S. government, look these numbers up. It varies. Is two to two and a half times bigger than the communist Chinese government. And we have roughly double the people in prison than the communist Chinese government. Now, technically, they actually have some big work camps that they, the, the, uh, that aren't called prisons, so they probably got a bigger total. But this is the reality. And people say, well, good, we have criminals in there. What we have is people being sent for nonviolent offenses who were told, if you don't join the black racist gang, the Hispanic racist gang, the Asian racist gang, the white racist gang, that's how the cell blocks are set up in any medium to maximum security facility. Even the lower security ones are going to that. You are immediately thrown in. You get the swastika tattoo or you get the black racist tattoo and you bend over literally or they're going to shank you to death. And by the way, they give orders to the warden. Most of these prisons are nothing but drug dealing mafia dens with criminals inside running criminal networks on the outside that have bought the jail guards. This is the reality, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the guys have pulled up some statistics there. What is that from the World Bank uh, showing the U.S. with the highest prison population in the world? Yeah, 2 million, 200 and something, 100,000. By the way, that's an old number, and that's not correct. It's like 4.5 million currently in U.S. prisons. Yeah, that's a, well, that, even three years ago, that number is not correct. That, that must be one type of prisoner because it's over 4 mil. Russia's number two at 847,000. Rwanda, 59,000. You notice China's not even on the list because they don't call it prison. <laughs> they call it re-education when they cut your organs out and sell them to wealthy Westerners. You fly into Japan to get them, and they, they gut you on the tarmac in mobile execution vans so they're fresh. Put the goods on the plane. An hour from then, it's in Tokyo. Two hours later, it's implanted in your body. You, By the way, you're a new listener. I don't joke about anything, or, or I tell you it's a joke. Each Chinese city for more than 15 years has more than a dozen mobile execution vans going 24 hours a day, chopping out all the goods. 
So there the tax man really cometh, doesn't he? And their favorite is the Falun Gong nonviolent group is they don't eat, drink, or smoke and are so healthy, and they blood type them, and they wait. They wait in their jail cell till a rich Westerner or someone in Asia or Europe, in Russia, Africa, whoever's wealthy, gets the good. So just type in mobile execution vans if you want to see that. So we'll be getting to that. But first off, before uh, Jim Mars comes in and I cover the waterfront of news with him, let me get into what's happening over in Egypt, for those that don't know. Uh, there in uh, the eastern uh, tip uh, of North Africa. Africa, man. Let me tell you about what's going on there. Our government, run by foreign banks, narcotic trafficking banks on record, three years ago, three and a half years ago, Hazi Mubarak, the 31-year CIA-trained dictator, but he was not that brutal compared to most, uh, and that's why that was the problem, was ordered to support al-Qaeda rebels being brought in out of Egypt into neighboring Libya. And he said no. So he disappeared, and the rest is history. Then two years after that, they put in Mohamed Morsi, who is a Muslim Brotherhood, British intelligence, CIA operative on record. And they began blowing up the Shiite mosque, blowing up the Alawite mosque, blowing up the synagogues, and blowing up the churches, and crucifying Christians every day at the presidential palace on record, and they set people on fire. And if you don't believe me, just type in, Christians crucified Egypt, you can watch the video. There's hundreds of them. And I just so happen to notice when I see these videos, the flags at these public burnings and stonings were Al-Qaeda flags. Just type in Al-Qaeda flag, you'll see Bin Laden with it, and what it says in Arabic. The one we have on screen for TV viewers is the uh, militia flag of Al-Qaeda, the Wahhabist flag, and then above it uh, is the Osama Bin Laden a particular uh, army flag. Um, in fact, if you scroll down, you can see the army flag of Osama Bin Laden. You see that right there? So that is the Wahhabist Saudi Arabian flag of Al-Qaeda. And so now the army, which has been Western trained and, and given billions of dollars a year and F-16s and Abrams tanks, um, they like their girls going to college. Uh, they don't like uh, that the uh, Muslim Brotherhood, because they're thugs too on average, like any tyranny, like North Korea, like Mexico. I mean, that, we don't want our cops to become like that, but no, they're, they're very, you know, somewhat thuggish. But it's so dangerous there, they're a little more professional on their thuggism because they're sitting on top of a powder keg of an Egyptian population that's doubled the last 20 years and is set to double again. I mean, it is a powder keg, and that's one of the biggest, biggest issues. So, so let's go to this. So the Egyptian military a week ago comes to Morrissey, and says, you've got to step down. There's 14 million in the street, secularists and other groups that don't want to be slaves of Al-Qaeda and have their daughters sexually mutilated, and they don't want Christians crucified in the streets at the presidential palace. He says, I won't step down. Well, the army didn't have a choice. They had to make him step down. Now Al-Qaeda is running around with black flags, killing everybody. And this is footage at Infowars.com. BBC is also running this, but not. But they're saying we don't know who this is killing people. It's men with big black beards and Al Qaeda flags. You can see that sticking out of his shirt. And and there's a bunch of these videos. And they climb up and are throwing secular. You can see them Western dressed with short hair. Secular men, men that you know don't want to kneel to Al Qaeda, off of the roof. And, and warning, this is graphic footage. If you're watching us on TV, radio listeners, just go to Infowars.com. And uh, you can you can see the Al Qaeda men with their flags throwing children. Oh, I forgot. Some of these are as young as seven, being thrown off five stories, and but still they're crawling in pools of blood at the bottom. Al Qaeda comes over with machetes and hacks them in the head with waving Al Qaeda flags. You know, kind of like the American flag or the Chinese flag. Everybody knows what a flag is, the Mexican flag. No one's saying, gee, what flag is that that army has? Al-Qaeda, when they get shot by the Egyptian army, our media is decrying the army, who is stopping Al-Qaeda trying to storm the government buildings right now. And our government is backing Al-Qaeda as usual. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV.
You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show. All right, Jim Mars is in studio with us for the entire next hour. In fact, he's going to give you a prelude of what's coming up here in just a moment. We're going to cover some of the issues I was just discussing before we get into the other issues of why he's uh, joining us here tonight. But first off, remember, this broadcast is listener-supported. We're not funded like MSNBC with banker bailout money or stimulus money. We're not funded by NPR, uh, by taxpayers. We are truly independent, libertarian-based if you believe in this information or just believe in getting people outside the box and thinking, please visit InfoWarsStore.com, where the very best water filtration systems, books, videos, pro-liberty t-shirts, uh, apparel, films, it's all there. InfoWarsStore, one word, InfoWarsStore.com, or simply link through on Infowars.com or PrisonPlanet.com to the shopping cart. Also, it's selling out very quickly. Um, this July issue has 10 bumper stickers in it, like America has been occupied by globalist forces, Infowars.com. Listen to Alex Jones, Infowars.com. Forbidden information, Infowars.com. There are 10 of them, four big ones, six medium-sized ones. You want to wake people up in your area? This is the way to do it. Use your imagination, ladies and gentlemen. And it is selling out quick. Buy them in bulk of groups of 10 up to 100. It covers the whole NSA grid. The magazine's a great way to wake people up. Tear the bumper stickers out. Post them in legal lawful areas. Pass the magazine on. Leave it in the barber shop. Leave it at school. Give the local police a gift subscription. You know, put their address in. Buy a year subscription. We sell this at cost to wake people up. It's like a big glossy color magazine, equivalent of a book. As print goes out, we go into print. because People really pay attention to it now. And again, don't forget, another great way to wake people up is to get an InfoWars Nightly News subscription. Now, obviously, the radio shows on AM and FM, XM, your local stations, all that. And we have a free video feed at InfoWars.com forward slash show. But if you want to see the nightly news, all the films, all of it, get a 15 cent a day membership. That 15 cent a day membership can be used by 11 people simultaneously. So share your username and passcode for PrisonPlanet.tv. If you have a membership, I want to thank you. And I want to ask you to please share it with friends and family and to get them watching the films. Send them a link. Say, hey, the Obama deception's on here in high def. Hey, there's hundreds of films, documentaries, nightly news. Here's your free membership, PrisonPlanet.tv. So one membership is really 11 memberships. And your support of PrisonPlanet.tv makes the transmission uh, possible as well.